Velo addicts. Gaba inawafanya ile kitu. Ile kitu. Guys, I told you and I've been talking about Velo every now and then. And I remember the last video I made, I said teenagers are using Velo in school without teachers knowing without parents knowing and i was trying to advise wazazi be very keen with your teenagers i am grateful that velo imeanza kujulikana and that was a debate in the bunge uh, with sabina chege and i said i remember the last video i said i said truth be told teenagers are using velo velo looks like this for those who don't know velo let me let me repeat it's a nicotine pouch it contains nicotine it's more of cigarette only that he haivu twist like smoking hakuna moshi unavuta but it acts like a cigarette fortunately or unfortunately it was brought in the market kusaidia wale watu wako addicted to cigarette kuacha ku smoke what to me this is a safer way of you know using nicotine tobacco whatever but most of people who got addicted to this velo are those people who have never smoked and unfortunately when our wengi ndo walikuwa addicted to velo most men ukisikiza history most guys ahi wapelekangi vizuri there are those people who have experienced bad um uh, experiences with velo there are some who tried velo for the first time and the experience was good like me here and by the time i knew it i was already addicted remember there is a time i used to to mia a can every day that is 20 pouches because i used to wake up for moja 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 four pouches at the um at a time and then it was so bad because now the nicotine got into my body i got really addicted to an extent i would not concentrate even when I'm going to church, sometimes in Africa time, Niko Kanisani, I'm supposed to listen to the preachings. I'm supposed to concentrate in church. Nanza kujipa shukli, najifanya nimeshika handkerchief, naweka. Why? No nweze kukoncentrate, na nweze kuwa sawa. So that's the time actually I realized Velo, Velo is not doing me good. And I came out and told people not to use it. And I remember people asking me, how did you even kubali to come out and say you're using velo? At that time, most people were not even talking about velo. Most people were not educating people about velo. And so, much, so many people wanted to know what velo is. And I'm so glad in a span of a few months, people have known what velo is. And now to an extent, imepelekwa kwa bunge, ikwe banda. Whatever they decide to do, mi sina kitu ya kusema. If they ban it, good for us. Because we will not have access to it. Good for me. Personally good for me. Uh, if they decide to come up with a way. Watakuwa wanauza vile teenagers hawezi access. It's good. Because remember. He sika. Velo sika kituka bangi. Ati inauzoka imefitua. This thing is easily accessible. You go to a supermarket. You get velo. Anywhere you go. You get velo. So it's easily accessible. And I always say. This is not a flex. This is not a flex. And most of us have used this thing out of peer pressure. Out of peer pressure. Ju, mimi kama singi uliza mtu aniambia ni tumie nitasikia poa. I could have not used it. Because in my mind, I knew this is a very bad drug. But the way someone explained it to me, akaniambia it's good. And then I tried and I always say, I don't lie by the way. Me, I don't come here to lie and say, oh, vile nilitumia nilisikia sijui mathoko dhanyo. I felt so good. Like I felt in heaven. I didn't know three years from that time, I'll be here preaching, telling people not to use velo. And telling people velo is not a flex. Sasa imefika bunge. I can see now people are even coming out on TikTok. They are talking about Velo. They are talking about Velo. And Sai Medjulikana Kabisa. I don't even know what to say. But whatever the government decides to do, me, I'm just okay with it. I'm just okay with it. Kuna Sai Mingeske ina baniwa nisikia kantalia. The time they banned lifts, na ilikuwa ime baniwa used to access it. 
I used to access it. So they should come up with a plan. Personally, my thinking, if they want to ban it, well and good. If they think of coming up with a plan, you have to access like specific places, your killer place. Because you can ask for market, you get it. Kuna shop, you get it. Why in spirit, place, you get it. But I think why in spirit is okay. Kuza kwa in spirit. But I really don't know what to say. Okay, I don't know. But whatever they decide to do with Velo, at least now people are learning about Velo. People are now aware about Velo. I'm sure most parents, mkionaka kakitu na watoto enyu mnajua what Velo is. And na kwanga imeandikwa, it's highly addictive. Like for me, I don't, right now I don't, even if I put, I wouldn't feel anything. But because my body is addicted to nicotine. Because I have those, um, zinetangwaje, uh, nasikia niko na nini za withdraw ni kiacha zina kuanga mbaya actually hiyo ndo kitu inafanya ngani same hii kitu ni mbaya cause when you get addicted there are people who try it once after two days after two days uh, ukikuwa addicted na hii kitu napata udakula hii packet moja ama mbili in a day you will know those who are addicted know what I'm talking about because you cannot concentrate without it unaenda kazini you cannot concentrate without it unaenda wapi you cannot concentrate without it it's not a good thing i always say try velo at your own risk kana kaka kitu kadogo sana kadogo kadogo tu ha nasema nge kana kaka kitu kadogo sana haka haka watu wasiweza kukudanganya ati ni poa hii velo ukiona kitu inaletwa kwa bunge debate <laughs> Anywho Cha tuone vile itaenda Wacha tuone vile government wataamua kufanya Whatever they decide to do me I'm just okay with it Me I'm just okay with it If it is idea our youth Our teenagers not to use it Then they'd rather ban it Sipu wa kupoteza generation Na juwa sisi we over 18 We did it out of our own will No one forced us But for teenagers they just think um kuna unajua ni age eh? so when they are using velo and other drugs they think how ndo kusema so if it's gonna help the youth they should go ahead and ban it yes that's all i can say <laughs>